Hey guys, Danny here today to talk to you about a very short book on Audible. When I say very short, I mean short. This book is less than two hours long. In fact, I think it's only slightly over one hour long. It is called NLP for Fast Weight Loss. Now, if you don't know what NLP stands for, it stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. Um, Timothy Robbins uses it a lot. Uh, it's something that a lot of coaches use. It's a way to train your brain to think differently or to observe things differently. And as a result, this is not your typical weight loss health book. This book does not give you any tips at all about diet, nutrition, exercise, any of the sort of things that you normally see in a health and fitness book. So if you're looking for a book on, hey, what, what do I eat to lose weight? What are the best exercises to do? Something like that. that that's not this book. This is not the book for you. This book is exactly what it says. It is on how to reprogram your thinking and reprogram your brain so that instead of craving potato chips and pizza, you crave broccoli and chicken breasts or instead of craving sitting on the couch watching TV, you actually look forward to getting up and going to the gym and to exercising. It uses visualization. Um, I would say the entire book is about visualization. And so if you're wondering, how do I use visualization to make myself crave broccoli? You're going to have to listen to the book to find that out. I'm not going to tell you. But that is exactly what it does. I've listened to and read other books on visualization. And I like the fact that this one actually approaches it from a different angle. In fact, he's got a bit in the book. I, visualization is something I've always struggled with. I have a hard time with visualization. I've tried it and usually I end up trying it and giving up. And then I'll come back to it later and I'll try it and I'll give it up. And I never seem to get anything out of it. This book actually has a section on it for if you're struggling with visualization, how to get past those struggles, some, some tricks and techniques to kind of teach yourself how to visualize. So it's not just this is how to visualize so that you'll change and change what you like to like something that you don't think you like. It's also if you just struggle in general with using visualization, here's some different ways to do it to help you with those struggles. This video is not going to be a very long video because the book's not a very long book. Like I said, it's slightly over an hour. So I've basically talked about everything that was on the book. Narration was fine. It's nothing to jump up and down about, nothing that will put you to sleep. But uh, how do you mess up a, a book that's slightly over an hour? So anyhow, any questions, comments, or feedback, send them my direction. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And most of all, make sure that today you read or listen to at least one really good book. Thank you.